Hey guys, feels like I haven't done a video in forever. It's been probably a couple weeks though. Um, I'm just now getting around to doing a video for, uh, it's going to be a haul. And I went shopping probably about a week ago and went to Walmart because I wanted to try the hard candy line. And I was like really excited to try it. I knew one product I absolutely wanted and I got that. But I didn't find anything else. Like nothing that really caught my eye that I would buy. Um, maybe the face primer, but that's about it. So I just got one item from Hard Candy and um, bought a face product and two other makeup type products. And some hair products too. And some stuff around the house, but I'm just going to show you the beauty stuff. And so I was also going to get like a cream liner, but L'Oreal, I like the hip. I think it's L'Oreal makes the hip line, L'Oreal hip. They didn't, my Walmart didn't have any of that. Like their makeup section is limited. So I'm going to go to Walgreens and Ulta and all those places to buy my makeup from now on because Walmart, they were just limited on what they had. So let me start off with my first product, which is the Hard Candy Nobody's Perfect palette. I've been really excited to try this. I've seen reviews on it. A bunch of people have this now. It's so pretty. And I say pretty like, you know, it's an eyeshadow or something, but. No, it's it's a pretty like pretty palette. I mean, it's packaged well. Cute little brush. I think it's I think it's gorgeous. And um, I use this every day when I put on my foundation. And I'm gonna have to do a review and a comparison because I have another concealer palette from Elf. And this was I want to say eight dollars. I think this was six or eight dollars. Pretty sure it was eight. And um, I got the kind in Fair 133, the Fair palette in 133. And I used the green for my red spots, like acne and all that stuff, yellow for under my eyes, and also the kind of pinkish purple for under my eyes. Then it gives you three skin tone colors, a light color, a medium, and a dark. And I used the top two. The dark's too dark for me. You can see it. So yeah, that's the concealer palette. I definitely have to do a review on that soon. Um, and then, also, I love the Dream, I guess those are called the Dream Matte, or Dream, yeah, Dream Matte products by Maybelline. I have the foundation that I use every day. I have the blush that I use almost every day. And they're the cream, those are the cream mousse kind that feels so soft, and I've done reviews on them. But I wanted to try the Dream Matte Powder, and I got mine in medium it's a sand medium zero one and this is cute it swivels out yeah it has a little um, face pad thing it has a mirror and um, it's a really it's a really soft kind of fine milled powder and um, I'm really liking this so far. I'll put my foundation and then I'll put this on top of it. And it's really good. I like this so far. So do a review on that later. And then, I mean, this is just a classic product that I just love. And I just recently bought it again. I haven't been using I've been using Soft Lips Chapstick. But I love, 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 love Burt's Bees. Just the original chapstick. They have like tinted. They have shimmery sticks. Stuff like that for your lips. I love Burt's Bees products. Then for my face, I've been using the Neutrogena Advanced Solutions system. It's in my face care video. I've been using that, and um, I I wanted to try the Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight Gel. Um, I haven't really seen a difference yet. It says in the box, fights, breakouts in under 8 hours, fades, look of post acne marks and that's why I bought it was it fades the look of post acne marks and I have a few of those if you can see um, I have a, like acne scars and I was hoping this would work I haven't really seen a difference yet but I haven't been like religiously using this because it's very drying apparently so I've been trying to you know use it once a day and sometimes I'll forget but alright and then I did a video for my hair or my favorite hair product. No, no, no. I did a video just on these two products alone. My shampoo and conditioner. The Aveeno Naturals Nourish and Revitalize. 
their shampoo and conditioner line that they have now. And I got the Nourish and Revitalize. Well, before I had Nourish and Soothe shampoo and Nourish and Soothe, I'm sorry, Nourish and Soothe shampoo and Nourish and Revitalize conditioner. Well, I was going to get the same exact thing, but this time I just got the matching Nourish and Revitalize shampoo and conditioner. Um, so I'm going to try these out and see how they work together. But I love the smell of these shampoo and conditioners. And they're, I believe, 6 or $7 for each bottle. So that one has lost me. I still have like half of it, but I still bought two more just for backups. Um, this lost me a good bit of time. And then just like a random item that I bought was shaving cream. I needed shaving cream, and I realized this brand is really cheap. Gillette Satin Care. I bought two of these for $3. And it works just like any other shaving cream. It smells like Lavender Kiss is what it's called. And I think it smells really good, works really good. So that's a pretty cheap... Um, shaving cream to use if you're looking for cheap shaving cream. So there's my like kind of mini haul. Um, I'm going to go shopping today at the mall. I'm going to go to Lush and probably JCPenney's and I'm not sure where else but I'm really excited about my Lush <coughs> video that I'm going to have to be posting. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I'm going to have to post a video when I get back um, going to Lush and show you all my Lush products. I'm probably just going to buy two or three things but yeah, there's my haul video. Leave me comments, subscribe, do whatever. Bye, guys.